What's up, nerds and geeks? My name is OMG WTF LOL FT WBRB, and welcome to episode 15 of Let's Play WWE 2K 14's 30 Years of WrestleMania. In the previous episode, we aided The Rock, where it was his final match against Stone Cold Steve Austin, and we actually helped him defeat his demon. And then uh, we also helped John Cena and the feeding the big show for the united states championship and a match that i believe really has no place in here and now it is time to go to the very notorious match between goldberg and brock lesnar and i'm almost positive there will be a video so let's see at the 2004 royal rumble bill goldberg's wrestlemania dream is severed by an envious beast brock lesnar lesnar's not in the royal rumble match f coming until an unlikely source delivers an opportunity for retribution. You know, SmackDown's got a pay for you coming up to San Francisco here in a couple of weeks. Got no way out. I thought maybe I'd give you this ticket. You take this ticket, Bill, and you're sitting on the front row watching Brock Lesnar. Yeah. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And there he is! Goldberg has crossed the barricade! Goldberg just speared Brock Lesnar! Gotta be kidding me! Eddie Guerrero has the champion! It's Goldberg versus Lesnar! Stone Cold Steve Austin giving Bill Goldberg that ticket, I would still be the WWE Champion. Lesnar's been in possession of Austin's ATV. I'm bringing you Stone Cold. Come and get it. This has got the ingredients for an explosion. First off the steel post. What the hell is Stone Cold Steve Austin going to do Sunday when he is the special guest referee? Brock versus Goldberg at WrestleMania. Hmm. You know, if I wasn't mistaking nerds and geeks, I would think the match we're about to play is Stone Cold versus Brock Lesnar, since the only thing we saw between Goldberg and Lesnar was Lesnar costing him the Royal Rumble, and then Goldberg costing Lesnar the the match in no way out. If anything, it feels like this might be a triple threat match, but it is not. Here you see there's a picture of Brock Lesnar giving Stone Cold Steve Austin the F5. Here's a picture of Goldberg giving, I mean, excuse me, Brock Lesnar giving Goldberg the F5. Oh, there's also Rob Van Dam in the background. And here's a picture of someone who has nothing to do with this match, but I don't mind it. Eddie Guerrero holding up the WWE Championship. Anyway, any, anyway, whatever. Anyway, the match is Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar. The date was March 14th, 2004. Location, New York, New York. The match type is a special referee match. Our match stipulation is the win by pinfall or submission. And we have three historical objectives. We have to hit a spear on Brock Lesnar, hit a jackknife hammer, or not a jackknife, a jackhammer on Brock Lesnar, and we have to win by pinfall. Let's get started. Special referee for what should be King, a very physically intense matchup between one of the biggest studs on SmackDown and one of the biggest studs on Raw. Physically intense? That's putting it mildly. And something else you put mildly was saying that Austin is going to be a combustible element. Hell, he'll explode any minute. He hates both these guys, both Goldberg and Lesnar. Uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin hates Goldberg? I, I don't see how Stone Cold Steve Austin hates Goldberg. I mean, we clearly saw him give Goldberg a ticket to No Way Out, and he said in a friendly manner to him, don't do anything I wouldn't do, Bill. Actually, I would have loved to see, uh, you know, I, I, I view both Stone Cold Steve Austin and Goldberg being friends for some reason. I don't think Stone Cold hates either of them. But I'll tell you what, both these men were not very well liked going into this event, and I'll explain that uh, during the matchup. The following interpromotional contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar. Lesnar from the University of Minnesota, where he was an NCAA champion, made his WrestleMania debut last year at Coldfield in Seattle, where he became the youngest 
WWE Champion in history. But this match tonight is not about championship gold. It's about finality. Who is the man? Will it be Lesnar or will it be Goldberg? Brock Lesnar looks really pale and really dumb here. That's all I want to say. From Atlanta, Georgia, weighing 280 pounds, Goldberg. Goldberg from the University of Georgia, where he played football. Two big collegiate athletes. But this is not going to be an amateur match. This is going to be more resembling, in my view, King, a street fight. Oh, this match couldn't come at a more apropos place or time than WrestleMania 20. Goldberg and Lesnar with Austin, the referee. It's unbelievable. Goldberg showing no intimidation. But for that matter, neither is Bell. There's a sellout chant from this sellout crowd. Oh, it sounds like these fans want to see these two go. Listen to that. We'll probably see both these men beating the living hell out of each other. Nice little touch where uh, they had the fans chant, you sold out, which is true. They chanted at the Goldberg. They chanted to Brock Lesnar, if I'm correct. They booed both these men. Even though Brock was supposed to be the, fa the heel and Goldberg was supposed to be the face, uh, both men were the heel in here. Do uh, the WWE Universe had... They didn't, they didn't care for either of these guys. They are both really mad. I mean, you know, because uh, it was well known that at this time, uh, both Goldberg and Brock Lesnar were leaving the company. They will not. They would not be there after uh, this pay-per-view match, and a lot of fans were upset by that. But uh, I, for one, am excited to be controlling Goldberg. Uh, the last game I even remember Goldberg being in was uh, Here Comes the Pain. I don't think he's ever been in a WWE game after that and so it's it's pretty crazy to see both these men in here and uh, this match had potential to be one of those huge matchups you know what I mean like it had an opportunity to be great and um, didn't turn out that way uh, it's actually one of the worst matches ever the only highlight of the match is Stone Cold giving both Brock Lesnar and Goldberg the uh, Stone Cold Stunner but, uh, you know, I mentioned this in a couple videos ago that I'm a little upset that they didn't put Kurt Angle in this game. And I'm also upset that really Eddie Guerrero doesn't get much love in WrestleMania when he's had many great matchups. And here one of them would have been where he uh, faced off against Latino Heat Eddie Guerrero. This would have been one of the matchups for him. But, uh, no, they didn't do that. Instead, they put John Cena in the big show and Goldberg and Brock Lesnar. Uh, a match that, as, as I said in the last video, I feel does not belong here, and then a match that a lot of people despise. But with talks about Goldberg returning, you know, everyone suggests that maybe, uh, maybe Goldberg go one on one against Ryback. Another thing I think would be interesting is, uh, what if WWE were to, uh, I don't know, um, revisit Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg? I mean, uh, it's WrestleMania 30. It would be 10 years uh, after their very notorious matchup. And um, I don't know. I think it would be interesting to see these two face off again and possibly, uh, you know, re repay what they didn't give the fans. So I don't know. Maybe that's – I doubt it would happen, but – I just, everyone thinks that if Goldberg were to return, he would face, you know, Ryback. And as much as I would love to have seen uh, Ryback versus Goldberg, I feel Ryback is kind of um not as big as he used to be. So let's get uh, the spear first since this is um one of the finishers we have to hit. What? Oh, what? <laughs> that spear, though. That spear. Uh, but yeah, you know, I, I don't feel Ryback is as, um, I don't think he's as big as he was last year. He's he's completely fall. He wasn't even on this past Monday Night Raw, which I may add was fantastic. One of the best Raws of the new year. But uh, he wasn't even there, so I don't know. Anyway. 
just a, just a thought that I, I just recently came up with. What if they did have Goldberg return? And what if, you know, they had Goldberg take on Brock Lesnar instead of Brock Lesnar versus The Undertaker? Or, you know, Goldberg versus Ryback or Goldberg versus Undertaker or, you know, anything like that. Like, I'll tell you what. What I think WrestleMania should be is I feel that uh, this year at WrestleMania we should have, um, you know, John Cena taking on Bray Wyatt. I mean, it's been a rumor match, and I, for one, think it would be a good matchup to have. You know, I, I feel that would be really clever, and it would help Bray get over, um, especially now with Daniel Bryan part of the Wyatt family. I feel... Uh, the shield should implode as much as I don't want it to happen. I feel maybe either that or, you know, another thing I think would be cool is um, I feel another cool thing would that they could do is uh, possibly maybe do uh, the shield versus the Undertaker. That would be an interesting one. Shield versus the Undertaker. And can we do a pinfall after this? I believe we can. And yet we can. So let's just end the match here. All right, there we go. Oh, yeah. As you see, the fans aren't showering him. They really captured. They made everyone know that the fans were not happy. There was no controversial officiating in my eyes. I got to be honest with you. I'm still amazed at that. That was actually a quite reserved and docile rattlesnake in that match. He just stood back and let these guys go at it and then counted three. And uh, here we have a... Something tells me that this isn't over. I think you're right, King. Uh-oh. What's going to happen? I'm now Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> we get the stunner. Oh, this is great. You know what? The oh, this is great. This is amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, that was great. That was just great. I, that was... <laughs> they, it said, Player 1 has changed and is now Stone Cold Steve Austin. And it asked us to stun them. Oh, that was great. So, <laughs> for winning that matchup, we have unlocked Goldberg and Brock Lesnar, along with the WrestleMania 20 Arena and uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin from WrestleMania 20. That was just brilliant. That was very well done. Uh, as you saw at the very end of that matchup, the fans weren't too happy with it. And I believe uh, what WWE wanted to do was dispute uh, Austin and Lesnar, but both of them were going. So I think we may have time for one more match, depending on what kind of match it is. So uh, let's just risk it and uh, go to the next event. Oh, and there's no... Uh, Really? There was a video for John Cena and Big Show, but not a video for John Cena and John Bradshaw Layfield? Alright, we're going to WrestleMania 21, Nerds and Geeks, where it's time for uh, John Cena to take on JBL on the April 3rd in 2005. Location is in, is in Los Angeles, California, and uh, it's for the WWE Championship match. We have to win by pinfall or submission, and we have only two historical bonus objectives. We have to hit the AA on John Bradshaw Layfield, and we have to win by pinfall. So here you see is uh, 
John Cena getting his arm rose at the end of this matchup here. Here's a picture of uh, John Cena, um, I believe, giving uh, I don't I I, I want to say Jonathan Coachman or it could be Theodore Long. Long I have no idea an fu. And uh, here's a picture of John Cena more recently. Uh, I don't know why they chose that picture, but let's get going, I guess. Uh, oh, we dropped a lot of frames. We dropped a lot, actually. Um, you know, I'm still gonna go. Audio may be a little off, but it's not too bad. reigning champion in 10 years. Oh, ho, ho. JBL is all business tonight for 242 days. A survivor, John Bradshaw Layfield, has been champion. It was June 27th at the Great American Bash of last year that JBL won the title. And there he is. There's the toothy grin of a competent champion, JBL who has survived just about everything over the past eight months as champion. That's what makes JBL successful, King. Well, JBL has victories over The Undertaker, Booker T, Big Show, and in matches like this, the Texas Bull Rope match over Eddie Guerrero. A triple threat match, a fatal four-way, the champion, whether you like him or not, is a survivor. Oh, nice little discussion about JBL's success story. Um, he's right. Everyone doesn't, you know, give JBL the credit. He uh, really stepped up to the challenge in SmackDown. What have we got next? From West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing 248 pounds, John Cena. John Cena's new single is entitled, My Time Is Now. Perhaps the time is now for the number one contender. This is the first time in a month that John Cena has been able to get his hands on JBL. General Manager Theodore Long did not allow any physicality or John Cena would lose his title opportunity. Oh, John Cena, he's got that look in his eye. He's focused, he's zoned in on JBL. But you gotta remember, JBL is a tough, tough hombre. Tough to beat. He's the champion for a reason. I did not know that this was John Cena's theme around this time. I still thought he came out to the uh, basic thugonomics, but whatever. So I feel that this is going to be a quickie, to be completely honest with you, nerds and geeks. Uh, we only have two bonus objectives, and I don't see this match being as hard as uh, or as long as anything else. For some reason, I don't feel like that was the uh, the logo for it at the time. I could be wrong, but I just don't feel it. And that's what it's all about. That's the prize they're going after right there. Well, all right, nerds and geeks, let's do this. This will be the final match of this recording. And uh, why not, you know? John Cena, JBL. Reigning WWE Champion. In the last and um, like I was saying, I'm a little surprised that they didn't give this match a video. Yet they gave uh, they gave Big Show and John Cena a video. A little weird, if you ask me, but I guess winning the United States Championship from the Big Show was more of a big deal than him winning his first WWE Championship. And uh, yes, this was this win right here was John Cena's first ever WWE Championship. But, um, yeah, JBL, uh, he doesn't get a lot of credit nowadays, and he was a, a huge part of SmackDown there. He stepped up when, when SmackDown was running low on the heels and all that. JBL stepped up and became not only the uh, best heel on SmackDown, but in my opinion, one of the best heels on the roster. I mean, there was no one bigger at that moment than Triple H and JBL in the heel uh, territory. So, um, I don't know. He really stepped up, and he had some great matches during that time period. And it's kind of a shame, in my opinion, that uh, he never got a... Never got, um... Another run with a title. I thought, you know, maybe a run with the World Championship would have been good for him, or anything like that, but... 
Didn't work out in John Bradshaw Layfield's favor. But uh, yeah, this match is not going to be hard at all. We're just going to beat up JBL. And uh, I mean, look at our historical objective. It's not like they this match was memorable for something, apparently. It's only really memorable for Cena winning. So uh, let's just end it. You can't see me. Not me, JBL. All right, hit a little bit of five knuckle shuffle. And uh, yeah. Oh, I think he reversed that. Oh, he did. Jerk. All right, JBL. That's how it's going to be. That's how it's going to be, Mona me. Oh, I dare you. Come on. Oh! Oh, I thought it was the clothesline from hell. I was about to say, fooled you, son. Didn't work out in my favor, though. All right, come on, JBL. Do something. Well, that sucks. Took my AA away. Even though it was called the FU at the moment. But I understand why they don't. They won't. They don't want children relating John Cena to the F to the word FU. Just don't watch the past, nerds and geeks. Don't look, look here, kitties. Don't watch the past. Don't watch the past matches with John Cena. Oh, he was going for the clothesline from hell. I didn't even see it coming, to be honest with you. Luckily, I got a kick in there because he would have hit me with it. John Cena may be kicking it into another gear. And that was a I mean, you may have reversed it, but that don't mean you're got much should have ma match should be over by now body's hurting Can I just get my signature I can't believe it could have swore there was another signature I had does he do I didn't mean to do that come on come on he went for another clothesline from hell All right, let's do another one, and I have a feeling this is our moment, nerds and geeks. All we got to do is turn him around. You can see me, and uh, there we go. Attitude adjustment. Let's go for the pin, and we did it. Yeah, yeah, sweet. Well, all right. That's going to do it, nerds and geeks. Uh, for winning that match, we've unlocked John Pratchall Layfield. We've unlocked the uh, WWE Undisputed Championship. We've unlocked the WrestleMania 21 Arena. And we've unlocked John Cena from WrestleMania 21. That's going to do it for this uh, episode, though. I do hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, uh, do me a favor. Leave me a comment, a like, and please subscribe if you have not already. And as always, my name has been OMG, WTF, LOL, FT, WBRB. And, uh... Please do share this video with your friends, Facebook, and Twitter to help this channel grow. And as always, you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you in episode 16.